Example 6.4. A tool and die company in Sydney is considering the purchase of a drill press with fuzzy logic software to improve accuracy and reduce tool wear. The company has the opportunity to buy a slightly used machine for $15,000 or a new one for $21,000. Because the new machine is a more sophisticated model, its operating cost is expected to be $7,000 per year, while the used machine is expected to require $8,200 per year. Each machine is expected to have a 25-year life with a 5% salvage value. Tabulate the incremental cash flow. So right here, we're not going to be solving anything yet uh, as far as the rate of return analysis because it's more complex. You require a set of steps, but this one will be one of the steps that you need to complete prior to solving the problem. We call this an incremental cash flow table. Okay, so remember that we mentioned that you will be comparing only two alternatives at a time. Even if you have more, you're going to go in pairs. You're going to set up a table like this. Okay, so these are your columns, and then you're going to be listing the years in the first column. You're going to set alternative B as the one with the larger initial investment. Okay, so you're going to be looking at your P. Okay, alternative B will have a higher P than alternative A. Okay, and then you're going to find the difference between the two, hence the delta cash flow. Okay, so it's the cash flows from B minus the cash flows from A. Okay, so we're going to be doing that for this problem right here. Um, okay, so one thing that we need to take into consideration also here is that each machine is expected to have a 25 year life. So that means that both of them have the same life. So I'm just going to put here as a reference that we're going to have equal lives. Kay. Another thing to remember is that chapter 6 will be based on chapter 4. Okay, so in chapter 4, the present worth, here we will also be converting to present worth. We have to look at the lives uh, because if it's equal life, then you just go with the 25 years for both of them. But if they were to have different lives, you have to get the least common multiple. So, But we will look at that in the upcoming example. So, so far we have equal lives. I also recommend that you draw the diagrams for both of them. So I'm going to have one diagram here and another one over here. Okay, so it's going to be this is the first one. We have a used press, the slightly used machine. So it's a used press, or we have a new one. So let me label this one as the used press. So it said it's 25 years, so we have year 1, I'm 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm not going to do all years, because basically we have the same. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to go backwards, 25, 24, 23, and in the middle, since we don't have any cash flows in the middle, I can just put it like this. Okay, so we said that in year one, okay, this is the used machine. I'm going to buy it for 15000 Okay, that's my P. Then it says that for the used one, uh, it's expected to require 8200 per year. So I'm going to have an A, years 5, 6, 7, so forth, until year 25. 
my A is going to be minus 8,200. And then it says that after the 25th years, there's going to be a 5% salvage value. So they don't actually give you the amount for the salvage value. You have to calculate it. So in this case, the salvage value will be equal to the 15,000 times 5% point zero 0.05, which is going to give us 750 dollars. Okay, so I have my used press. Now let's draw a similar diagram for the new one. We have new press. Same thing, we have year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we continue because there's no cash flows in the middle. So I'm just going to have three more years over here. Okay, so this one, uh, the initial investment is 21,000. I have my A every year. For here, the A is going to be minus 7,000. And the salvage value is going to be 5% of 21,000 which is equal to 1,050 okay so I have my two diagrams here like I said it's uh, useful if you draw the diagrams because that that's going to make uh, filling out the cash flow table easier so I have this to guide myself with the columns. Um, so for this, we are going to be listing the years. But the good news is that when you have equal lives, you can take a shortcut, let's say. So let's start with year zero. Oops. Year zero. Okay. Oh, and also let's list our alternative A and B. Okay, so we said that the one with the highest initial investment is going to be alternative B. So which one requires a higher investment? The new press. So alternative B will be the new press, and alternative A will be the used one. Okay, so now that we listed that. Let's write down what we have in year zero. So here in year zero, I have minus 15,000. And over here in year zero, I have minus 21,000. OK, so I'll take care of this in a bit. Now, we mentioned that years one, two, three. Let's look at the used one first. Years one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to year 25 you have an A. Okay, So there's no point here of writing year by year 1 through 25 with the same amount. So this is a shortcut I'm talking about. So we're going to write down years 1 through 25. Okay, For the used press, the cash flow is going to be 8,200. Same thing for the new one. We have the same A going down from years 1 through 25. So you're going to list it here as minus 7,000. But we are missing the salvage value right here. So we can just point out that at year uh, 25, for the used press, we have a cash flow of positive 750. And for the new press, we have positive 1,050. So now let's get our incremental cash flow Okay, in the last column. It's going to be 2 minus 1. Okay, so But you're literally going to use the negative sign here. So if it's negative, yeah, it's going to be a double negative. So let's do the first one. 
So column two, it's minus 21,000 minus minus 15,000. This will give us minus 6,000. Then the next one, minus 7,000 minus minus 8,200. Okay, this is going to give us actually positive 1,200. And then the last one's easy. 1,050 minus 750, giving us 300. Okay, so these right here, these three values are going to be used later in solving the problem. What do these mean? Okay, so if you were to relate them to a diagram, so let me actually let me draw the, the final version of it. If you were to do this in a diagram, you would have all 25 years. So we have year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the last 3 years. Okay, so this one right here is going to be our incremental cash flow diagram. And in year 0, you would have minus 6,000. In years 1 through 25, you would have an arrow going up, okay, the same here until year 25. So you would have an A of 1,200. And then in year 25, you would have an additional salvage value of $300 right here. Okay, so if you were to translate it into the symbols, then we can say that year zero would be year P. Years one through 25, it's the same amount, so it's an annual. And in year 25, you will have your salvage value.